Number 28, calculate the peak voltage of a generator that rotates its 200 turn 0.1 meter diameter coil at 3600 revolutions per minute in a 0.8 Tesla field. All right, so uh, we need this formula over here on the uh, bottom uh, right hand side. Well, it's not really the bottom, but you know. So this is uh, EMF sub O, it represents peak EMF, okay, or peak voltage. So uh, why don't I just call it, you know what, I'm just going to call this V sub P for peak voltage. That's going to equal the number of turns of the coil of the generator multiplied then by the cross-sectional area of the coil, multiplied then by the uh, external magnetic field that the coil is, is experiencing, multiplied then by the angular omega here, the angular uh, velocity. Ooh, blast from the past, right? Blast, blast from the past. So uh, what you need to do is, if you're not familiar about angular velocity, you got to check out the circular motion chapter way back when. So what we need to do is a uh, number of turns, we know 200, the area pi times right radius squared, here's the diameter, we know what to do by that, for, uh, with that by now. Uh, here's the magnetic field, all right, 0.8 Tesla, and then the 3600 RPM, that is not the right unit. Remember, angular velocity is in radians per second, so we need to do a little conversion. So we're going to take the 3600, that's a G, 3600 revolutions per minute, I got to get rid of rid of revolution so they go on the bottom and I can go right to radians. There's going to be two pi radians in one revolution that is a known conversion. So the revolutions will go bye bye. Now I have radians per minute, but I don't want to know radians per minute. I want to know radians per second. So what do I have to do now? I got to get rid of the minutes. So therefore since they're originating in the denominator, I got to put them in the numerator. Seconds on the bottom, there's going to be 60 seconds in a minute and we'll see you later minutes. And now what's left is radians per second. Look at how beautiful that is, right? And now all we got to do is calculate this, all right? So it's going to be 3,600. Now you can count, you can plug in the pi if you want or leave it in terms of pi. It doesn't really matter. So 3,600 times 2 times pi uh, divided by then 60. So this comes out to be about uh, 376.9, I guess 377, right? 377 radians per second. Now we got the omega in the right unit. Now literally all I got to do is plug it on in. So 200 turns. The area is going to be pi r squared, so we know the diameter, so divide that by 2, it's already in meters, so that's going to be 0 0.05 squared, and then multiply that now by the magnetic field, 0 0.8, and then the uh, angular velocity, 377. Throw it into the quackulator, 200 times then pi, times then 0 0.05 squared, times 0 0.8, times 377, well... I'll use the exact answer from before, but it's really, really close, right? All right. 473.7, so I guess 474. So 474, 474 volts. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. Uh, guys, thanks for tuning in. I will see you in the next uh, problem. All right, check out some more of the videos. Take care.